what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media Channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. And guys, as soon as I got done filming the Scream Factory Shocktober sale video, I saw that Arrow Video also announced their Shocktober uh, sale as well. So we're going to do the same thing again because I'm, I'm still okay. I'm feeling all right. I can film another video, I think, maybe. We'll see if I can pull this off. Um, so like I said in the last video, I always, I always want to keep you guys up to date. Um, so this is the Shocktober sale for Arrow Video, and there's actually some really good deals in here. There's some stuff that's kind of questionable if it's a deal or not. Um, and we'll get into that, but there's, there's some really good stuff in here for very cheap. Um, and I wanted to kind of go into that. So as I did with the last video, I will link the Arrow Video Shocktober sale down below in the description. So I don't want this video to be as long um, as the last video I did. So I'm not going to go into the Arrow video announcements because I still haven't really given my thoughts on those either. Uh, those are like a week ago now. But uh, the Warriors on 4K, guys, we got the Chucky 4K box set, all that stuff I'm going to talk about on the physical media report uh, this Monday. I, I definitely got thoughts on it. This is just we're just going to dive into the sale here. But before we get into it, guys, like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We talk about physical media on this channel all the time. If you like that kind of thing, Blu-rays, 4Ks, owning the movies that you love, all that stuff there behind me, hit the subscribe button. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this sale. Let me make this a little bit bigger for you guys. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, so scrolling down, um, I think I'm on the UK how did I get to the, let me change this. Even though the UK does have, definitely check out the UK sale as well, because sometimes you can get stuff for cheaper in the UK. But I wanted to look at the United States uh, prices. Okay. All right. We changed it. I think we changed it. Let me, let me refresh. Come on. Come on. What are we doing here? What are we doing Maybe you have to change the actual dollar amounts. God, this is already a disaster. All right, here we go. We're look, we're set up. I don't know why it like defaults to the UK when I go. I don't know, guys. But anyway, uh, the Shaw Scope Volume Two Limited Edition. This to me is not a deal because this was on Amazon just a week ago. It might still be on Amazon, which always price matches stuff, guys. Like look on Amazon, look on uh, Blu-ray.com, see if this stuff is cheaper on there because sometimes it is. Um, but the Shaw Scope Volume 2, I remember putting a link to that as a deal a couple of weeks ago. That was like $85. This is $100 still in the sale. Now, maybe it's over that on Amazon now, and maybe this is the cheapest way you can get it. But I, I feel like that'll go down cheaper at some point. So I don't see that Shaw Scope uh, collector set as, as too much of a deal. But this is the big one right here, guys. This Arrow Video um, Enter the Video Store Empire of Screams box set, which I have uh, up there behind me. I did a review on it a, a couple of months ago when it came out. But this thing was out of stock for a little bit, um, and, and you couldn't get it. And apparently, they're putting this back in stock. It says it's available to pre-order in the sale for 40 bucks. Now, the thing that worries me is a lot of times, because this is, has a release date of October 24th, 2023, the thing that worries me is a lot of times when they do these re-releases, the packaging is not the same. Like, so I'm hoping this isn't just some like little, you know, box set deal with no booklet or anything. Hopefully it's still the same packaged release. Let's look at the product details here and see if they're telling us. But yeah, this thing's coming back in stock. Um, and regardless, guys, the, the movies are really fun and it's a great release. Great special features, you know, really good transfers as well. Um, but I just want to make sure that this is the, okay. Slip case packaging featuring the original artwork, um, versatile sleeves. So I don't know guys, this, this might be the same thing. This might, I mean, it looks like it's it, from the pictures. It looks like the same kind of deal. Um, and let me, let me reach up and grab it real quick. So it's right here, but, uh, this is what it looks like. And it, it's a big kind of box set deal. And you take it out of the slip cover and it has a reversible top, not reversible, but removable top. Sorry, guys. And then on the inside, you have all of the releases individually, um, individual like Blu-ray cases. So I'm just hoping that they don't condense it because sometimes that's what they do with these re-releases. Um, but it is a great release nonetheless. And $40 
you want to talk about a steal? This thing's worth at least 80 to me. Like I, I would pay $80 again for that release. So $40 is 100% a steal uh, for that box set. So this sale is worth it just to get that. So definitely grab that if you haven't, because it's it's the box set of the year um, for sure. So let's back up. We got some Shaw Brothers stuff, 30 bucks a piece, four films, uh, four film collection. Not too familiar with those releases, but 30 bucks for four films is not bad. Um, I've been thinking about getting this Gothic Fantastico set for the longest time. That is 40 bucks right now. I think I might pull the trigger on that this sale, but the last Starfighter Blu-ray, 17 bucks. You do have that Mall Rats exclusive with the um, the 3D image cover for 25 bucks. So if you didn't get that, because I think it was 35 bucks originally, you might want to get that now. Regular Mall Rats 4K, 25 bucks. Tremors 4K. Keep in mind, all these releases, guys, are probably, unless it's new like Mall Rats, it's probably not going to have the case or anything. It's not going to have the hard box case. It's not going to have a slip cover. It's just going to be the regular 4K. Got 12 monkeys for 20 bucks. The Giallo Essentials. Everybody has been on my case about filling in uh, the blue box set and the yellow and the white box set. I think I'm going to do that this sale as well. Um, but they're 35 bucks, which is a really good deal because there's three movies in there. So that's a really good deal for the uh, blue Giallo Essentials. And I think the white ones included in the sale as well. Shock. I, I always talk this movie up. It's so good. If you like Italian horror films, if you like Dario Nicolodi, um, this is also Mario Bava, who's like the godfather of the of the Giallo film. Um, this was his last movie. So highly recommend it. It's it's more supernatural than it is like slasher Giallo. But uh, I, I really enjoy it. Shock's a good movie. Uh, Pitch Black, 25 bucks on 4K. Dune 4K, 25 bucks. Dune 4K was a really good 4K. Really looked great. Say what you want about the movie, but the 4K looked great. Um, okay, good. This is not having the glitch it was having on my phone. Whenever I tried to switch the pages on my phone, it kept throwing me into something else. Uh, Deep Red is an amazing movie. Dario Argento, I love Deep Red. I think it's his best film. 25 bucks for the, for the 4K there. Um, and you might actually still get the case for this one. Uh, if you get that one, I think that's the um, the Arrow exclusive cover. I think you might still get the case for that if you order it. And you probably will still get it for the silent running 4K as well for 35 bucks. And I think that's a Steelbook box set. Also, you get the regular edition $25 uh, silent running. So yeah, some of these I think you'll still get the case. I think you'll still get it for True Romance as well. Uh, Bird with a Crystal Plumage, I don't think you'll get it for. Uh, this original Deep Red, I don't think you'll get it for. Just the uh, limited edition case. Um, but just kind of scrolling down, uh, you got Django on 4K. You got Flash Gordon on 4K. Legend on Blu-ray. The Count Yorgo collection, which is not going to be that box set. It's just going to be the standard, I think, slipcover with two discs in there because it's a two-movie collection. But it's still 20 bucks, so that's that's definitely a good deal for that. And just kind of going through Crimson Peak, 17 bucks. See, a lot of this stuff, guys, like Blu-rays, $17, $20. It's just that doesn't feel too different than normal. So I just don't feel like that's a great sale. Um, you know, granted, 17 bucks, three, four dollars off is three or four dollars, you know, especially if you grab a lot, it'll it'll add up, but not a great sale. Children of the Corn 4K is 20 bucks. I, I was not a fan of that uh, that release. I thought it looked okay on 4K, but I'm just not a fan of uh, Children of the Corn in general, to be honest. Um, this was a really good set, the Lady Whirlwind set. I talked about that earlier this year on my channel. Um, $20, and it's two movies, and there's a lot of great special features um with angela mao and i think it's a really good two pack so 20 bucks for that i think if you're into kung fu movies is a good deal um and then another giallo see you're going to get the best deals from these box sets these collectors box sets because the giallo essentials is 35 bucks the ringu collection is 40 bucks keep in mind the first one you just got a 4k uh the vagrants no slip cover 20 bucks see, i just don't that's not a deal to me um it's just not the limited edition steelbook for wild things is a beautiful steelbook. Uh, that's 25 bucks. So not bad. Uh, Giallo essentials, yellow, 35 bucks. Um, just kind of scrolling down guys. I don't have time to go through everything, but cold war creatures. I have been wanting for the longest time. It's, it's likely maybe I pulled the trigger on that this sale. Cause I have been wanting it for a while. 
uh, and it's only 35 bucks. See that that's what this sale is good for guys. These, these box sets, um, the stuff's a, a super fun movie, 17 bucks. Definitely recommend that. Giallo red, uh, is 35 bucks. He came from the swamp is 45 bucks. Um, sorry guys, still having some issues with my throat. Let me take a drink real quick. All right. Silent running on Blu-ray. Uh, the girl in the silver witch hair, silver haired witch. Sorry, guys. Uh, Cat on Nine Tails 4K is twenty bucks, so that's a good deal. Any 4K from Arrow that you can get for twenty bucks is not a bad deal. Creep Show Two is seventeen. House is seventeen. So most of the Blu-rays are seventeen. Most of the 4K is twenty, twenty-five bucks. Um, you know, it is what it is. Chud I think was twenty bucks. I don't know why Chud is still twenty bucks. I don't get that. The white edition Giallo, I need that. That's 35 bucks. Um so yeah, it's it is what it is. Deadly Manor. That, that was a fun for what it was movie. Uh Deadly Manor. $17 for that. Uh crazy, 17 bucks. Yeah, they just I don't know. For this to feel like a real legitimate sale for me. 17 bucks just doesn't cut it. You need to drop these Blu-rays to at least uh 14 to 15 dollars. Because even Screen Factory Shop Factory is doing that. A lot of their stuff is like 10, 11, 12, you know, it varies in prices. All this stuff just seems the same, which is why I never get very excited for the uh Arrow video sale. It just it never feels like a real true sale to me. Um you know, whereas Screen Factory just their their sale wasn't even that great, but they had stuff for for thirteen, for fourteen. Like if all these were fifteen across the board and the four Ks were twenty, like that would that would be more consistent. And then maybe drop some Blu rays down to ten or eleven or something. I don't know. Just doesn't seem like a great sale. But let me know what you guys think. Girls Night Out was fun, um, seventeen dollars. Just keep in mind that the quality of that transfer wise, they just couldn't restore it. You know, like other older films from that time. So don't expect the highest quality with that one. But it's a fun movie. Uh, let's see, Brain Damage. The Brain Damage is ten bucks. That's what I'm talking about. We got some ten dollar uh, releases here, and I do have Brain Damage though. And I need to watch that one. Uh, Django or Django Steelbook. Sorry, guys. Ten bucks. Vengeance Trails. These are great box sets. Westerns. If you like spaghetti westerns, movies like The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, uh, Once Upon a Time in the West, Fistful of Dollars, all that kind of stuff. The Clint Eastwood stuff that everybody knows about. Uh, check out some of these movies because there's some super under under the radar movies that I think you'll enjoy if you like those films. Um, the Lucas Moody Sin collection, 60 bucks. I've seen it for cheaper on Amazon. Um, Alice Sweet Alice DVD for five bucks. Okay. Um, yeah, just keep on going through slugs, $17. Feels like I'm seeing wild things like 150 times. Um, but let's just scroll through. Okay. Meal of the Stone Women. You might still get the box set for that. 20 bucks. You might still get the box set. Hills Have Eyes. You might even get the box set for that. No, no, that's the Blu-ray. If it was the 4K set, maybe you get the box set. Uh, let's see. Pajama Curse. Uh, Apprentice to Murder. See, I mean, you got a lot of stuff. This is pretty much Arrow's entire catalog, it feels like. But the Herschel Gordon Lewis Feast Blu-ray, I don't I don't know how many movies this is. I feel like it's like 10 or something. Um oh yeah, this is uh this is like 14 films, I think. So this is 14 movies. I don't know the quality of these movies for uh 40 bucks. Like you, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. Um, original last house on the left, 17 bucks. So there's some good ones. I like that movie edge of sanity with Anthony Perkins. I think that was a good one, but 20 bucks still. It's just, it's not great. Uh, mall rats 20. Um, see, just a lot of 17s, a lot of 17s. Uh, just not, I mean, man with uh, of a thousand faces is 15. 
So I'll give him credit for that. Give him credit for that. Keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. All right. Sorry, guys. I apologize for all this, but I'm trying to keep you guys in the loop, trying to keep you updated on all the latest happenings in the world of physical media. Sergio Martino collection. I do have that, and I watched one of those movies. I can't remember which one, though, <laughs> but that's 35 bucks. So this sale, like, get the box sets. Like, the box sets are, are going to be where it's at um, in sales like this for sure. For sure. And see, there's another Wild Things. What is with all the Wild Things? And we just saw The Man of a Thousand Faces, so it's like repeating stuff. What is going on? No wonder it's taking me so long to get through this. We're seeing the same titles over and over again. Get your crap together, Arrow Video. I need Evil Ed. That's 17 bucks, though. See, I'm already going to, I'm probably going to load up on some box sets. I'm probably going to be spending like 150 bucks in this, in this sale right here. Just to load up on box sets. See, Edge of Sanity again. Why are we repeating ourselves? All right, let's go to the last page. Uh, scared Stiff. The Dunwich Horror was really good. That was a solid kind of Wicker Man type uh, type horror movie. 20 bucks for that, which you'll probably still get the slipcover for that one. But So there you have it, guys. That's the, uh, that's the Shout Sale. But yeah, definitely partake in this sale if any of this stuff interests you. Now, this sale does run a little bit longer than the Screen Factory sale. This goes from October the 6th to November the 1st, so you got more time uh, with this sale. But yeah, I'll link it down below in the description. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching this uh, sale video, and I'll see you guys later.